Hey guys. All right. So I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas here. I have my cup. Um, I actually started layering the cup and then realized my video wasn't even on. So now I'm on. Um, I'm using some Paradise Blue by Art Minds. A brushed metallics copper. And DecoArts Americana 24K Gold in metallic. I'm using also Anthroponome Blue, a white and which is two parts Artist Loft. No, I'm sorry, two parts Floetrol to one part Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. That's what I had available. So this is the Anthroponone White, I'm sorry, Blue. And we are going to layer our cup. Now, Let's go with copper first. So I have white, then the gold, then the anthroquinone blue. Now I've got the copper. I'm going to go right with the paradise blue after that. And some gold. And then I'm going to go with white. And then I'm just going to continue layering my cup any um, color sequence I choose to. Um, it doesn't really matter all that much what colors you put next to each other. Um, obviously it will for my outcome, but when layering the cup just in general, you can choose different colors uh, to layer next to each other. Uh, they all get along and they play very well together. So... We're just going along here. Now, um, these paints were mixed with a new medium. Uh, not many of you have been able to give it a try. We're going to call it uh, right now The Mix, and um, it could be wrong, it just could be called Mix, but I'm going with The Mix. And uh, it's a little thinner than Floetrol right now, but with my layering, it seems to be doing very well. So it should be interesting how it turns out. I'm excited to try this out. Um, the ladies that are creating this. I'm wishing them the best of luck because it would be fantastic to find something that is decent out there. <clears throat> I typically use just Floetrol, but I'm ready to try anything at all. I know my last painting was Liquitex Pouring Medium, but every time I've used that, it's always dried dull. From what I've seen with this kind of pour, uh, or with this this um, pouring medium, it dries nicely. It has a great sheen to it, and I am excited to see how this painting finishes. Uh, so you'll see the dried results at the end of this painting video, and we'll go from there. As long as it's decent. <laughs> uh, let's put some gold there. I can't tell you exactly the ratios that I've used, um, but I want to I want to estimate about a seventy percent uh, medium to thirty percent paint, but you know we'll see how it goes. I'm already seeing some cell action, so that really excites me. <clears throat> I use the DecoArt Extreme Sheen paints. The gold that I use today is not Extreme Sheen. It's their basic 8 ounce uh, bottle of it. It is different. Um, the, the 24K Extreme Sheen is completely different um, in a sense to this paint. This paint is a little thicker. 
but it doesn't dry as shiny and sparkly as the 24K Extreme Sheen. But this paint does react the same way as an Extreme Sheen paint does react. It's just the final results when it's dry are different. <clears throat> and only slightly, not too much. All right. So, oh my God, I want to use up all this, so I only have a little bit left in my cup. What I'm going to do is just put it right onto the canvas because I don't want to waste any. And then I'm going to put some white on top of that. And I already have pre-mixed white in my creamer bottles. No, not cream. It is literally white paint. All right, so that right there, I am just moving the paint slightly. And that is that. Um, let me just grab my torch, it's in the other room and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, and I wanna say unfortunately the, blow, the torch was right in front of my face the whole time right on the counter. So, all right, so we are going to start. I'm just doing a straight pour and I'm gonna finish off with some of my little wingy things. And we're just gonna finish up here. All right, so I sort of poured that a little fast, but let's see what comes about it. I'm just popping the air bubbles and that also forces cells to come to the surface. Going around the edges, making sure the canvas is colored, uh, sorry, covered with um, the paint so that uh, the puddle in the middle flows freely. All right. 
I really love what's going on here. We can see it. So I poured over there, and what I'm going to do is turn my canvas. All right, so I, I use um, plastic cups to hold my paintings up. And before somebody says you should get push pins, I don't like the push pins. Um, I really like just using the cups. Um, <clears throat> push pins get all caked up with paint, and um, then it's just a, a nightmare to get off. We'll see how this goes. All right, definitely a learning curve with this new mix. So what I'm going to do is layer another cup with different paint that I have that's left over and uh, we'll see how we do from there. Lesson learned, definitely have to pour a little slower. So what I'm gonna do is pull out some colors and uh, that I have sitting over here on the counter and we will use those to pour. To, we're going to fill the cup a bit and then we're going to pour from there. So I will be right back with you guys and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back and I threw some paint on there that I really didn't have to pour on there, but I did anyways. I'm just getting rid of some leftover paints. Now I have my layered cup. Actually, gonna add a little more white to the cup. And I'm gonna actually do straight paint from the jar. We've got that to the side.
because, 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 because I've screwed this up so much at this point that why not just really wreck it? <clears throat> And see how it goes. All right. It's all heated up. Now, what I'm going to do because I want to save this side more than anything because it's got the prettiest parts is go to those edges first. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but this one turned out awesome after the fact. I guess I had to mess it up twice to... really get some kind of competent composition. Oh, I love it. Y'all are probably like thinking I'm crazy or something, but this here I love. I'm going to bring it off that corner because it seems to, is, to have merged with something that was there before. And oh my God. All right, let me turn this this way because this piece is amazing. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm just going to bring this back just a little bit more. Oh, it's got this really cool little area of lacing that I've never experienced with a pour, but okay. Let me take off my gloves. We're gonna bring you guys in for a uh, close up because this piece is awesome. Okay, so this is where I ended and this is where it's gonna stay. I love this piece. The metallic, this is all metallic in here. Um, and then I have some gold and some bits coming up through the gold. I love this piece. This piece is so Fantastic. And I'm so glad I poured over it. Um, I'm definitely going to try the mix again um, with a more um, slower process of um, pouring. I sort of rushed that. I quite possibly could have been very excited. But this piece is has turned out amazing and I'm very happy for it. And I am like really looking forward to how it dries also um, with that new medium in there. I love that area, so pretty. Anywho, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. Check out my Etsy shop, have a great day.